Hi guys! If you watch my channel, you know that I do a lot of work for my local library. A little while ago they were planning an event and they asked me to build a beanbag toss game for the little kids. The project uses basic carpentry and a little bit of paint, but kids seem to enjoy it a lot. And all the techniques are applicable to any kind of painted sign or things like that. First thing you need to do is sketch out a design. I use the free program SketchUp, but of course a pencil and paper works okay. My design is a kind of an open book with flaming gobs of awesomeness blowing out of it. You can make these into faces or animals or anything, but make it have bright colors because the kids like that. Once I had my basic shape, I got a sheet of half inch plywood and I started rough cutting it with my circular saw. I clamped a loop of string and used that to mark the round part at the top of the backboard. Then I cut it with a jigsaw. The router there is just a heavy weight that keeps the board from tipping over. I used a sanding block that I made out of a piece of belt sander belt on a scrap of wood. It works really well to smooth out the saw cuts. Then I made the angled cuts on the sides. I could have cut the back leg with a circular saw too, but it fits on the table saw so I just used my miter gauge. Book applique is a little more complicated to lay out. I use this flexible batten of wood to mark the curves. Then I cut those pieces on my bandsaw. The applique is actually two layers of plywood, but once you cut out the first piece, you can trace around it to cut the second. I glued the two layers together and used some pieces of tape to hold them together while it dried. There's lots of different ways to cut the beanbag holes. I just marked them with a compass and freehand cut them with my router. The router left a little bit of fuzz around the edges, but I knocked that off easily with a half round file. By this point the glue had dried on the applique, so I put that in the vise and used some hand tools to smooth out the edges. Then I attached it with glue and finishing nails. I put the back leg on the piece with a piece of piano hinge. It's easier to install this kind of screw if you start the holes with an awl. One corner of the hinge hangs off, but you just scribe that and clip it with snips. The screws that came with it were a little too long for the board, but my belt sander took care of that. And this plywood was pre-sanded, so it only needed a little bit of touch up before it was ready to paint. I'm painting this with a gloss enamel over a PVA primer. They're both water-based, and like most water-based house paint, you can easily tint them with a few drops of acrylic craft paint. And here I go, starting painting. The last piece I made was the library logo. For something like this, I like to put the white base coat on and then I trace the design very carefully in mechanical pencil, 
Then I take a small soft brush and cut up to it. Take your time and you can make it look pretty nice. And here's the finished piece. Here's some footage one of the librarians took at the actual event. <laughs> All right. All right. Now the little boy wants to try it. What's his name? Roman. Roman. Roman, stand here. Roman, stand there. Yeah. And. <laughs> All right. You want to try it from the back line? Okay. And then the other day when I was at the library, I saw they actually had it set up at the front door. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, have fun with this project, and I'll see you again soon with more videos. Thank you.